Hi there, Dr. Fig here, and today we'll be talking about natrum sulfuricum. Diarrhea, acute or chronic, aggravated in the morning on beginning to move, parentheses bryonia, with much flatulence, parentheses aloe and calcfos, and rumbling in the abdomen, especially right ileocecal region. Loose cough with great pain in the chest, aggravated in lower left chest, parentheses right chelidonium. Modalities, aggravated in cold, wet weather, damp cellars, hydrogenoid, parentheses, diarrhea, rheumatism, asthma. Mental effects from injuries to the head. Chronic effects of blows, falls. Toothache, better by cold water and cool air, parentheses, coffea and pulsatilla. Gonorrhea, greenish yellow, painless, thick discharge, parentheses, pulsatilla. Natrum sulfuricum is also one of our armamentarium for diarrhea, both acute and chronic, like podophyllum, sulfur, nufar, and rumex. The diarrhea is aggravated in the morning. Sulfur drives the patient out of bed, but natrum sulf, like bryonia, is worse only after beginning to move. Then again, Natrum sulf has, like aloe, much rumbling in the bowels as of flatulence. This rumbling of flatus is often with natrum sulf, located in the right side of the abdomen in the ileocecal region. Again, the natrum sulfuricum stool is, like china, argentum nitricum, calc phos, agaricus, and aloe, accompanied by a profuse emission of flatus. This flatulence is not always present but is often so. In chronic diarrhea, there is almost always some trouble with the liver, evidenced by soreness in the right hypochondrium, which is sensitive to touch, and hurts on walking or any jar. One very strong characteristic for this remedy is this trouble is aggravation of the diarrhea, pain, etc. in damp weather. In this it resembles Dulcamara and Rhododendron, the Dulcamara has the aggravation and change from warm to cold weather, whether damp or dry. This aggravation in damp weather is not confined to diarrhea and natrum sulf, but is especially present in cases of chronic asthma. I have seen very great benefit in such cases of this very troublesome and obstinate disease, and as aggravation in damp weather is very commonly occurs in cases of old asthma, this remedy is often indicated. I have not observed much benefit from this remedy in runaround, for which it is highly recommended. I have seen nice results from it in very obstinate cases of gonorrhea, when the discharge was thick and greenish and little pain. Loose cough with soreness and pain through the left chest is very characteristic. This is one of the chief diagnostic points of difference between bryonia and natrum sulfuricum. That well, with both, there is great soreness of the chest with the cough, with bryonia, the cough is dry, while with natrum sulf, it is loose. The patient springs right up in bed, the cough hurts him so. There is as much soreness as there is with bryonia, and when the patient coughs, he springs up in bed and holds the painful side in his hand to ease the hurt. This symptom may be found in chronic affections of the respiratory organs, such as asthma, phthisis, etc., and I have several times seen remarkably prompt relief and cure follow its administration in pneumonia when this symptom was present. This pain through the lower left chest is as characteristic for natrum sulf as is that of pain running through the, lower, the right lower chest for calicarbonicum. Thank you for listening, everybody. Take care.